Uh, this just got to me moments ago. New music coming from Van Morrison. I am so, so excited about this. I love Van Morrison. One of my faves of all time. We got him featured in the EHM New Music Bin right now. He's got uh, he's doing vocals on that Robbie Robertson track. I hear you paint houses, which is part of the whole uh, soundtrack deal that he's doing for the Irishman, which I'm thoroughly just. I heard you paint houses. Yeah, I cannot wait for that. I heard you paint houses. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, well, Van's going to be uh, coming out with his own record, which I'm really thrilled about. Three chords and the truth. Three chords and the truth. It'll be available October 25th courtesy of Exile and Caroline International Records. Uh, Three Chords and the Truth is described as truly something wonderful. 14 new original compositions effortlessly encapsulating the Van Morrison sound and showcase his talents as one of our generation's most celebrated songwriters. This, by the way, his sixth album in four years. He has always been pretty prolific. He has becoming insanely prolific over the last few years. Six albums in four years. And I think about, you know, we talk about, I've been holding on to this article about, is the album cycle even worth it for artists anymore? You know, the Justin, who does Weekends here on EHM, shared this great article, and I haven't had a chance to dive into it yet. But it really, it kind of, you know, because we're in this era of Internet 2.0 and social media and the way people are finding out about music through vlogs like the Mornings with Anthony vlog or podcasts or, you know, just blogs in general, Twitter, Instagram, like people are discovering TikTok. Uh, people are discovering music in all these different ways. Does it make sense to have a year, two year, you know, go between albums you know they call that the album cycle you go record an album you put the album out you promote the album you go on tour you know take a little time off back in the studio record that's the album cycle does it make sense because it definitely did in the past 70s 80s 90s right the two-year album cycle worked to a t you'd put it out you'd go on all the shows You'd plan a tour, you'd go do the tour, summer festivals, whatever it was, maybe a little bit more promotion on the second or third single of the album, right? You would kind of have that time to let the album spread around and, and find people. It took two years to really, to, to break an album, you know? Now it's not like that anymore. Things are moving so quickly. So it doesn't make sense for artists to stay on that cycle. And I think about... You know, Sheryl Crow and her going, I'm just not making albums anymore, period. This is my last album. I'll release singles. I'll release EPs. And a lot of people are sort of going to that EP formula. You know, we had Taylor Goldsmith on, you know, on this show. And we talked about Dawes. They seem to be on a one-year album cycle. You know, they're, they're just putting out, I think they're seven albums in 10 years. Their seventh album is coming. He broke that news with us. Uh, again, something you can find on the Morning Show vlog and the podcast. Go to WEHM.com and uh, under the on-air tab, click on Anthony. Or just Google it. Just Google Morning Show with Anthony Taylor Goldsmith and it'll come up. Uh, so six albums in four years. It feels like Van is like kind of on that train of like, yeah, you know, respect to you, Sheryl Crow, but I'm going to keep pumping out 14 tracks at a time and uh, just keep dumping it into the market and see how people respond to it. Album was produced and written by Van Morrison himself, except for one track, which was co-written with Don Black. It features contributions from Jay Berliner and a duet with the Righteous Brothers' Bill Medley on a uh, track called Fame Will Eat the Soul. That I really can't wait to hear. On the uh, new record, Van says, and I quote, you're just plugging into the feeling of it. More the feeling of it when they're playing. It's like reading me. So I think there's more of that connection, end quote. I don't know what the hell he's talking about, but I don't want to know. That's the thing. Like, he's just on a different level, Van. I, that is, you're just plugging into the field. Okay. Plug me in, Van. Plug me in. I will follow you anywhere. If Van Morrison is like, you know what's a good idea? She's at uh, Pizza from Pizza Hut. I'm going to go and I'm going to order one. That video is on the EHM Facebook page right now if you're just catching up. 
14 tracks, super excited. He has uh, given us a little bit of a tease with a single, Dark Night of the Soul. That's all you get. That's your tease right there. I'm kidding. We'll give you like another five seconds of it. Uh, it sounds pretty good. It sounds very typical Van and a lot of what he's been putting out lately, the kind of album that you just want to put on and, you know, relax to. This is not a I have to pack for the airport album. This is like a it's Sunday, uh, you know, or it's more like a it's Friday and I don't have to shower and be anywhere until Monday. Let's put on the Van record and hang a bit. In the dark night of the soul In the dark night of the soul He is just the finest wine. He gets better with age. New Van Morrison, super excited about it. Any more news that we get, we'll be sure to pass it along to you. You know, he's going out on tour. He's not doing a ton of dates in the States, but he does have that Vegas residency coming up, which I'm pretty excited about. I know a lot of people travel to go see Van especially in uh, Vegas, over at uh, Caesars Palace at the Coliseum, January 31st, February 1st, February 5th, 7th, and 8th. 